I promise on my honor to be faithful and loyal to Ghana, my motherland. I pledge myself to the service of Ghana in the so I you know here, here the name Amuga Tempa, and as you can see, we are live at the Independence Square, Charlie. Just because today is 21st September 2021, and it happens to be Kwame Nkrumah's Memorial Day. So, Charlie, as, as it be Kwame Nkrumah Memorial Day today, you know, I forgive you some of the facts or some things about Kwame Nkrumah way, some of you not even here before, some of them, it be lately before me crying, I come here of them. Yeah, so Charlie, we go dive in real quick. Anyway, how are you celebrating the Kwame Nkrumah Memorial Day? Holiday, some of you know go school, so they jump you. Number one, his actual name was Francis Nwea Kofi Ngoloma. Ngoloma? Hey, Ngolo Kante o. Okay, he became Nkrumah because his teacher could not pronounce his name correctly. He changed his name officially to Kwame Nkrumah in 1945. Ah, no wonder. We are Ngoloma. So, I said the teacher no feel they pronounce it. Just like how me to no feel they pronounce them correctly. That'd be why he changed his name from Francis Nwia Kofi Ngoloma to Kwame Nkrumah officially in 1945. Number two. His administration has over the decades proved to be one of the least corrupt that Ghana has ever seen. And Ghanaians hold this belief even to this day. Nkrumah advocates socialism and undertook many developmental projects that aided in turning Ghana in one of the influential states in Africa. <laughs> Corruption. Them say in time no. So eventually make we go back to Kwame Nkrumah in time. Because if corruption be less, ready, everything it means a protocol matter, no, no child for that time. But that time to into you know believe in some of the things where it happened, right? Then civilization, then things took over. So it's cool. Let's just handle our Ghana like this. Number three. Kwame Nkrumah embraces Soviet ideas and often regarded himself as Africans' answer to Lenin. He actually went to win the then coveted Lenin Prize, Lenin Peace Prize in 1963. So Kwame Nkrumah, as we did uh, democracy inside right now, he believes in those Russian the way of like Russians the way of governing like this time around democracy, you all you know what democracy is like. Decision made like from diverse areas. He you no know, believe in that and he just wants his party and himself to have a, a, a lifelong until he die before anybody go fit take power from him. That be what he believe in. Okay, number four. Kwame Nkrumah was once a teacher and he actually earned a degree in theology while at college and he was fond of preaching the word to Presbyterian black churches in New York and Philadelphia. He be here or obinim, obinim learn in preaching from. So it means that this, this thing is all oh, noah. Kwame Nkrumah, whilst he was a teacher noah, he was still preaching the word of God. Hallelujah! <laughs> uh, I go ask Nigerians, as you they do Ghana Cholof then, listen, your founder preached before, <laughs> you know, preached before. Okay, number five, he was on his way to Hanoi with peace proposals for ending the war in Vietnam where the 20, where he was on his way to Hanoi with peace proposals for ending the war in Vietnam where, Charlie, it be so this thing, uh, 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 this thing's uh, independence square hot like this. Ah! Number five, Charlie had his sweat. Number five, he was, this place, then for come do some canopy for you. Then for do some canopy, I tell you. He was on his way to Hanoi with peace proposals for ending the war in Vietnam, where the 24th February 1966 coup in Ghana overthrew his government. Ah. Oh. He had almost he had he had almost reached Peking, Peking, which is the fat, fattest, fattest or fattest, fat, like the thing long. Okay, fattest point of his journey when the coup took place. 
He was informed of the news by the Chinese ambassador in Accra who had gone to Pekin to greet Nkrumah and to escort him during his stay in China. Is this a Kwame Nkrumah? He know even the Ghana that like he know even the Ghana before niggas come <laughs> them come them come them overthrow him. It's a sad story though, but uh, uh, he they go some peace keeping or something. He they go like Vietnam. Them to like them they do some kind of war war things for the misunderstandings. He they go as as a president. You forgo those kind of things. You are talking alone to go feel make a change. So he they go do that thing before as the China ambassador with the Accra say he want escort him. He hear the news, so he come deliver the coup news give him. So. He no even come Ghana. Okay, number six. Kwame Nkrumah was properly elected and named honorary co-president in Guinea, where he lived for the rest of his life. He means that Kwame Nkrumah asked them over Trauma. He go he go to Guinea where they make him vice president, elected in parliament and all of a view. He he go to uh, this thing. Uh, initially, Kwame Nkrumah no, he was like trying to unite. He was trying to make a union of uh, Ghana, uh, Mali, Guinea. That was the initial. He he come one join Congo. I don't know how successful it became, but he won't join Congo. So like uh, he be vice president for Guinea. So as his rulership end for Ghana, served the overthrow him. He goes save Guinea. So he died. He died as a Guinea president. Guinea, 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 like Ghana, Ghanaian, Guinea, Guinean, or I don't know. Okay, number seven. He died of cancer. Oh, after his overthrow, after he was overthrown, Kwame Nkrumah lived out his life in Conakry, Guinea. Yeah, at our campus, diagnosed with prostate cancer. In August 1971, he flew to Romania for treatment. He died in Bucharest, Romania on 27 April 1972 at the age of 62. So, sadly, uh, uh, this thing, uh, the person who gained independence gave us no one. It be cancer, we kill him. What could be the cause of that cancer? Nobody knows. But this was how the legend, our hero, uh, one of our fighters, this was how his, his life ended with a prostate cancer and he died at Romania uh, 1972 at the age of 62. So he was 62, 62, uh, 62. he was 62 years, he was 62 years. <laughs> the Charlie, Charlie, the, 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 the place hot, the place hot. <laughs> Charlie, so the place hot, so they can't wrap up. Those are the seven, those are the seven Things you should know about Kwame Nkrumah. Some of you don't know. Thank me, thank me, thank me. Yo, it's still your boy Amuga Temper on Horse Media TV. Subscribe to this channel. Keep your subscriptions coming in. The comment section is there. Keep your comments coming in. As in how our progress is going with us. Uh, as in how our pro. Today, today we are decided that they can't speak English. You see what they happened. Make you keep your comments coming. Make you keep your comments coming. Then how, they give us progress on how we they perform on this horse media channel. Bye. Boom. <laughs>